Look, I have so many people come into our shop and the, you know, the first thing I can see generally that they've got a green pool because they look really miserable. They've got a list as long as your arm on all the chemicals they think they might need. And to my surprise, look, at the end of the day, it really isn't that hard. The reason you get green pools is either after a very strong rain or predominantly when you get very hot weather. And basically what's happening is your pH is going high and thus creating the algae bloom and ultimately that's where your green pool derives from. The simplest way to approach a green pool is your main component is hydrochloric acid, which is really what reduces your pH. So again, check what your pH is, utilize the dosage rates that are on the back of the drum that tells you how much to put in your pool. Follow that instruction very closely with granulated chlorine or liquid chlorine. Liquid chlorine contains 13% chlorine, the rest is water. Granulated chlorine contains 70% chlorine and the rest is calcium. So bang for your buck, the granulated I think is far better than the liquid. And these two in measurements into your pool will start seeing a very big colour change. Keep your filter in running. If you have a cartridge filter, I suggest take the cartridge out, circulate the water with the chemicals running. There's no harm done with that whatsoever. It at least preserves your cartridge. With a sand filter, you can have the option of putting it on recirculate, and that allows you to just simply circulate the chemicals. It will take a day or so, you'll see a change in colour. Ultimately, it will go to a cloudy colour, and that's when your filter then steps in, and then you can start filtering out the water, or you can let it settle down to the ground, and ultimately vac it to the filter, or vac it to waste. And then once you've got some clarity in your water, coming back from the green, we can then talk about other aspects of your pool, like the long life algaecide. This is a copper based algaecide, which is really the only one that I use because of the copper. And look, I think a pool really needs one of these once a year. Every six months, 500 mil wouldn't go astray. And then you can come back and we can talk about your buffer, which is your sodium bicarbonate, your alkalinity, and we can talk about your hardness level, your stabiliser level, get them back all into balance, and hopefully the green pool will be a thing of the past.